Here we are back in our project. Uh, you might notice the environment is slightly different. The reason for this is that uh, I'm on a cluster computer now in my department, which has the specific LSDyna export license. But otherwise, the uh, workbench procedure is the same. It's just a slightly different interface. So now what we do is we drag the explicit dynamics LSDyna export module. and we drag it into our project schematic and what we're going to do is just connect the geometry with the uh, geometry module which is in the explicit dynamics that way the files are shared and now what we have to do is edit the model the way we do that is we right click and we just click edit The model might take a few seconds to open, which is completely normal, as it has to load all the geometry files. But once it's loaded, we can see our geometry once again. And we can see that our flap is connected to the channel just through one line. If you go into the section plane tool, for instance, you can see this very clearly if we create a section. The surface is completely hollow. And now opening the model, what we see is that there are some features which have question marks which means that the export needs us to enter some parameters and detail the simulation. The first thing we can do is in the geometry, we have to select uh, a certain thickness for our surfaces and we also have to assign artificially a kind of dummy material to them, which we're not going to use later, but it's simply for the software to be able to export. So here we set a thickness, for example, and I believe automatically the material assigns structural steel to all these surfaces. Which of course we're not going to use, but artificially we have to take this step. Now once we finish this, we don't need to change the connections or the coordinate systems. What we can do is we can start working on the mesh. So first we're just going to generate the default mesh with the default parameters by uh, ANSYS. And what you can see is it's quite a coarse, uh, quite a coarse grid. So now the problem that we're going to have with this grid is that the uh, leaflet, which you can see inside, the nodes of the leaflet are not going to be connected to nodes on the surface. So what we're going to have to do is, first of all, we're going to refine the entire domain. So by inserting a sizing and selecting all the bodies, using Control A, we select all the bodies for a refinement. And now we set a new element size. And if we click generate, this is simply going to update the sizing of the mesh. And now we have something which is finer. But still, however, we notice that the nodes of the leaflet don't correspond to the nodes of the square channel as you can really see in this uh, kind of zoomed view here. 
What this means is that the mesh is not conformal, so this could cause some problems with the solver in terms of uh, creating a, uh, the accurate constraint at some boundaries. And the way we're going to fix this is using another ANSYS feature, which is called the Mesh Connection Group. By clicking in Mesh Edit, Mesh Connection Group. Automatically, all the bodies are targeted, and we click Detect Connections. And we right click in Mesh Edit, and we click Generate. So now what we can see is that the mesh has adapted to the nodes of the flap and that all the nodes are connected. What you can see now is that the nodes on both surfaces are connected. So the mesh is now conformal and it's ready to use. The last thing we have to do now is we have to go through the explicit dynamic settings. In order for ANSYS to export the LSDyna file, what we have to do is we have to enter again a kind of dummy end time, which here is one. Although this is not going to be the real end time of our simulation as we're going to set it differently, we have to enter this parameter just to make sure that the export works correctly. And as well, we have to enter one type of boundary condition here you could set anything from a pressure to a force. Just to be simple, we're going to set a pressure on one face as just one pascal. And then that should be enough to click the solve button, which is going to export our K file. So you can see in the messages that the LSDyna keyword has been created. And now, once the export file is ready, we're going to have to use that keyword file and post-process it in LS prepost in order to make it ready for our simulation.